Hello there everyone, it's Carol from the Crafty Emporium. <coughs> Excuse me. I've popped by today to show you two new projects that I've made from a new digital kit that I've created. So I'll just quickly show you the digital kit before I start. So it's basically called the Language of Flowers and it has some beautiful wouldn't you know it the sun's just decided to come out i've got shadows now so i hope you can see this okay so it's got these beautiful um victorian little girls based around sort of flowers so this one's holly this one's violet blush rose and lily and then there's harebell moss rose crocus and snowdrop and pansy Convolvulus, however you say that, sun again, forget me not, fuchsia and daisy and then there were some pages within the book that I own um, with some poems in so this one is a love letter, this one is about the language of flowers and this one is in eastern lands they talk in flowers <gasps> Or very oriental and romantic and then I've done some um, background pages so there's this patterned page here and this plain page there and then this is the front cover of the book I've done some tickets for um, months of the year so that they could be added on as tabs onto the side of pages if you wanted to make it into a monthly kind of journal um, and then this page, what I've basically done is, well, I'll show you more sort of in the journal, but I've created this page so that you could cut these out or any other image that you so wish and they fit onto um, these sections here. But of course you can use your own photographs if you wanted to. So that is going to be up in my Etsy store. Two ways to get to my Etsy store is I'll put the link in the description box down below, but also on my home page for my YouTube channel, up in the top up here, there's what you call a banner, um, which says Crafty Emporium Design on it. And within the, the banner on the bottom right hand side, there are three little clickable links. One is for my Etsy store, one is for my Facebook group, and one is for Instagram. I have to think then. It's very painful, you know, when I think. So basically, I made a little mini journal uh, just to sort of show you what you could do with uh, the digital kit and so i've used the front cover i've actually gone through and just highlighted some of the areas again with some with, with if i could speak properly with my gold posca pen um so to just highlight a little bit of the gold and the back i've just left plain green now on the front cover itself these two sections here were embossed so you could actually um run a piece of card through an embossing folder and then cut those triangles out and stick them on but then what i did on the back was i just cut out those two triangles again and placed them top and bottom uh, and then just cut out this edge panel and stuck that here on the back so it's just a single signature and i'm just going to go through it quickly because as i say it was just to give you an idea of what you could do with this um, and so here i've used the tim holtz die and then I cut some of the images up and made them into tags so that they fit inside the Tim Holtz pocket. I used uh, one of the verses as one of the pages. I cut one of the little girls out and used her as a tuck spot on the page. Some coffee dyed paper added a, a little lace pocket on the bottom here and then made a little mini sort of booklet here with a belly band inside for some papers and then with one of the plain papers I just made a three-fold tag as I say this is just to give you an idea some coffee dyed paper these are all stickers um, that I've got in my stash here, this was one of the little girls that I cut out and stuck onto that uh, background page. Stuck onto that one. Uh, but what I did was when I attached it, I made it into a pocket so that you could pull 
some paper out from behind the pocket added a couple of little buttons here on on this page this little girl and boy were actually on the same little card so I cut fussy cut them out again I put the little boy down here with the flower that they were representing and then I made the little girl into a paper clip I can pull her off there we go so I made her into a little paper clip um, and so that is holding on some writing papers just stick her back on so now it looks as though he's talking to her from afar <laughs> made a pocket here and then made a little mini square envelope with one of the background papers and just used one of the cards as a journaling card put some coffee dyed paper on the back another little sticker background page again um, another one of the cards that I cut out and attached to the page and again lift it, left it open at the top so that uh, I've included a tag inside of there here I printed the um, patterned paper onto some tracing paper let me just swipe something off my phone there we go uh, did a little mini half page there it's one of the background papers just attached one of the verses into the center of the signature and just attached it with um oh no i actually did this one as a flip that was right so i did that one as a flip up and then there's the paper clip on there so that if you wanted to hold it in place then you could do so that that sits on there and then this one was an envelope that I've decorated up with one of the cards so that's what the paper clip was holding in place a little half page tracing paper this um, little girl again attached to the background page but this time just glued it around three sides so that I'd got a side pocket <coughs> did this one as a little flip up and then there's a little hidden pocket underneath there and I put a little envelope in there this one again another top loading pocket some lace coffee dyed paper which flips open but on the actual front of the flip with the leftover tracing paper I made a really long length pocket so that you could attach a long length strip of paper in there and fussy cut out one of the little girls this one I did the lace pocket again at the bottom and then just made a journaling card out of one of the images so I haven't done anything fancy to it but it, it it makes a great little journal for writing in. That's the what, the other one of the verses. And then the last page, I did a pocket again, just added a little bit of lace, did it as a top loading pocket so that there's a, a tag in the top. But it was just to give you an idea of um, the sort of journal that you could make with the digital kit. Now the other thing that I made as well, which I'm actually going to do a tutorial on, is this and it's a traveler's ephemera case made from a file folder so as you can see i've decorated all the front i did one of the girls on here added her as a top pocket so that there's a tag can go in there i've added some flowers which i got from hobbycraft there's some lace there a flower there on top of a scallop circle and some eyelash trim and on the back there's a big pocket but i'll come back to that in a moment so it actually opens uh, it's magnetized so it opens there and then when you go inside there's two great big pockets one on each side so there's all these ephemera pieces in the back waiting to be decorated so if you're going away somewhere and you want to take something with you to do then you could put all your ephemera that's waiting to be decorated in this little folder 
and uh, just get them out as and when so there's some uh, repair tags in there there's some guest checks there's can you see okay there's some paper napkins in there there's some blank tags I've put little paper clips on the edge of the pocket here so that I could do some decorated paper clips if I wanted to there's some blank tickets in there and again I use the Tim Holtz um, slatted pocket die I put some words in here that are either already inked up ready to use on a journal page or waiting to be cut out some more tickets and then I've decorated it up with parts of the the digital kit and then I've used the decorative paper as the main part of the decoration for this so on this side I've got two glassine bag pockets which I've decorated the front of with the the girls from the digital kit again so in this one I use some of the paper to just uh, I printed this out onto card and then I've wrapped some lace around it, attached some bulb pins. Another little piece of the, the card, I've actually put some buttons on. So they can slot in there so that I've got buttons to use and I've got my bulb pins to use. In this side, I've actually put in some, um, some foam pads or dimensionals. Uh, in this side, in the big pocket, I'll show you what I've put in here. So I'll put some use it paper in. I made one of the glassine bags which I've shown before, and again I'll put the link for this down in the description box if you want to have a go at making one of these. So it's decorated up with a napkin, and then when you open it up, I've got some Tim Holtz peoples in there. I've got some tea bags in there. And then inside the side pockets, I've got some bingo cards, some more of the little girls, telegram, some of the Tim Holtz sticky words. In this side, I can get in. There we go. So I put some cabinet cards in there so that I could decorate up the cabinet cards. So that's in there. And then I put a couple of little glassine bags in. So these have got some leaf trims in and some eyelash trim and a little piece of um, dyed cheesecloth. Couldn't think of the word. And in this one, I've got some seam binding. So when I come to use that, I'll use that on my tags. And then on the back itself, there's a pocket on the back of this and then in there I've got some blank envelopes, some coffee dyed index cards, some little mini envelopes and a couple more of the little girl flower cards that I'd got left over so they can sit in there as well. But think of the ephemera that I could make just from what's in that little pack. So as I say, um, oh. Losing my bead. Need to stick you back on. Um, I'm going to show you in another video on how you can go about making one of these and then you can decorate it up as you wish. But again, I just wanted to show you how to make it using um, the digital kit. So, again, I'll find the top page. Is further down into it than you think. There we go. So this one is called the Language of Flowers, and that will be in my Etsy store. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope that if you purchase it, you'll have great fun creating with it. I certainly did, as you can tell, because I did two projects with it. <laughs> okay, thanks very much for watching again, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.